We will discuss the role of the DevOps engineer and how you can step up in your present role to become a DevOps engineer. We'll also see the ongoing trend and need for organizations to move to DevOps. So who exactly is a DevOps engineer? DevOps engineer is a new role that software organizations are creating within organizations that are adopting DevOps and the various tools within the DevOps toolkit. Those organizations need professionals who know and understand these tools. DevOps engineers work with various tools to implement continuous integration and continuous deployment. Familiarity with tools like Git, Jenkins, TeamCity, Puppet, Chef, Ansible, Kubernetes, Amazon AWS Cloud, Cucumber, Sonar, Nagios, to name a few, can catapult your journey to become a DevOps engineer. So why do we need DevOps engineers? Organizations that are using DevOps are overwhelmingly high-functioning. They deploy code 30 times faster and 30 times more frequently, and 50% fewer of their deployments fail after they begin using DevOps. Software isn't written the old way anymore, where it used to be written from scratch, which is a highly complex, time-consuming process. Creating new software products now is often a matter of choosing the right open-source software and bringing them together while writing some code. The complexity of today's software lies less in writing the code and more in ensuring that the new software will work across a range of operating systems and platforms right away. Similarly, builds, testing, deployments are now done much more frequently, and that is possible only if developers communicate early and regularly with the operations teams, and the operations team in turn brings their knowledge of the production environment to design and testing stages of the software project. What kind of skills does a DevOps engineer need? You need soft skills, a very broad understanding of tools and technologies, software and infrastructure security, infrastructure automation tools, and also testing. You need a your customer comes first mindset. You also need skills such as collaboration, flexibility, awareness of the network, and of course to be able to think and see the big picture. For a DevOps engineer to be successful, you must possess strong communication skills. Similar to agile development teams, soft skills are incredibly important, not just for the individual engineer, but also in making the organizational cultural shift to implementing and then standardizing DevOps. Since new technologies and tools continuously crop up on the DevOps landscape, it's highly important for a good DevOps engineer to have a broad understanding of those in the following areas. The source control like Git, Bitbucket, Subversion. Continuous integration like Jenkins, Bamboo, VSTS. Uh, infrastructure automation like Puppet. Container concepts like Docker. Deployment automation or orchestration like Jenkins, Octopus, Deploy. Container concepts like LXD or Docker. Orchestration like Kubernetes, Mesos, Swarm. Uh, cloud like AWS Azure, Google Cloud, and OpenStack. A great DevOps engineer is always curious and open to learning new things. He or she must constantly ask questions and then listen to answers to generate new ideas and welcome new challenges. While combining development and operations is a great way to streamline development and deployment of code, the faster cycle means that vulnerabilities can be introduced into code much faster than previously. Therefore, DevOps engineers must be able to write secure code to protect applications from attack, as well as defend against common cybersecurity vulnerabilities. DevOps professionals, even though they don't need to be expert security professionals, can benefit tremendously from having software security training. As in so many tech environments, a key element of DevOps is automation. A lot of the manual tasks performed by more traditional system administrators and engineering roles can be automated by using scripting languages like Python, Ruby, Bash, Shell, and Node.js. This will ensure consistent performance of manual tasks by removing the human component and allowing teams to spend and save time on more of the broader goals of the team and the company. So the DevOps engineer must possess the ability to use automation, technology, and tools at any level from requirements to development to testing and all the way to operations. Automation is driven by testing, so strong testing skills are needed to be a successful DevOps engineer. When proper tests are in place, you can rest assured that each function is doing what it was written to do from all stages from development to deployment. You can run tests to make sure that the entire system is interacting and it has all the new features. 
Now, first and foremost, a DevOps engineer always cares about delivering value to his or her customers and wants to understand and measure how the work is moving the needle. While DevOps engineers are not typically external-facing roles, developers, QA, customer success, project management, business leaders are all their clients. By caring about the outcome as opposed to their part of the supply chain, they'll have the right instincts with regard to how to optimize for end-to-end -end success. Strong DevOps managers must be great team members and help relieve bottlenecks by assisting coworkers as necessary. Any problem in the project is everyone's problem, and a great engineer always makes those around them better. A great DevOps engineer works in small batches so that the others can do their work more easily, from performing code reviews to writing acceptance tests. Uh, the key, basically, is to have empathy for others so that the entire team can move more quickly. A successful DevOps culture demands flexibility. Multitasking is another key for a DevOps engineer. The DevOps engineer must be network aware. The end objective of any DevOps project is to be able to successfully deliver an application to the end user who will consume it and use it. That involves the network. A good DevOps engineer will recognize that you have to account for the network in your design, your planning, and your testing. While many DevOps engineers are excellent software engineers, they sometimes lack the ability to look at the big picture and identify what makes sense for the client. Because DevOps combines the needs and wants of multidisciplinary teams and applications, a successful DevOps engineer can't lose sight of the big picture for DevOps and digital transformation at the enterprise level, especially in a large organization. Now, this helps avoid creating contention points and constraints that can carry from one project to another. So, are DevOps engineers a new team within organizations? A DevOps engineer basically can be anyone who has had software development or software deployment production monitoring knowledge and is also adept with newer automation tools. It can be a Java developer who knows how to work a Jenkins pipeline to create automated builds using Maven. It's a manual tester who writes TDD test cases for JUnit or configures sonar quality gates for software delivery. It can be a systems operation engineer who understands the architecture of a software and helps the team set up a performance test suite for testing. In summary, it's a software professional who understands all aspects of software development and delivery, whether it's system architecture, deployment pipelines, or instance management. DevOps engineers came in at number three on various job portals in America in 2017. The DevOps engineer position grew by 106% in the last few years, and the DevOps engineer position boasts an annual salary of $123,165. So that is how much DevOps engineer jobs are in demand and how much they are expected to grow. A survey of 252 Gartner Research Circle members showed that 38% of those were already using DevOps in 2016, and an additional 35% have plans to implement DevOps in 2017. That is over 70% of the world's entire IT market we are talking about. And the Gartner and State of DevOps report for 2017 summarizes it all for us, saying that by 2020, half of the CIOs of the world who have not transformed their team's capabilities will be displaced from their organization's digital leadership teams. Hey, want to become an expert in cloud computing? Then subscribe to Simply Learn's channel and click here to watch more such videos. To nerd up and get certified in cloud computing, click here.